Hey, it's Pulse with Pioneer DJ, and this video is a walkthrough guide on setting up the XDJ700. We've got a couple of different configurations I'm going to show you, first being a standalone, second with Rekordbox Link, and third with Rekordbox DJ as controllers. So the first configuration is as basic as it gets. We've got RCA cables connecting the audio outputs from the XDJ700 into a mixer. This allows you to play with each player, however you would require one USB drive for each player as they're not linked. So the next step up from this in the most simplistic way is to connect each of the players with an Ethernet cable. Once you've connected the two players, you'll see on the screen it will blink a player number. If you have manually assigned them as to your preference, this will connect by that choice, otherwise it will assign a player number automatically. It doesn't really matter what the player is numbered at this point, so long as you have a unique player number for each player. If you have manually assigned them and they've now got the duplicate number, you will have to change one of the players. When I connect the USB drive, you'll see pressing USB on this player allows me to load the tracks, whereas on the other player I can now press link and the same tracks from that same stick will load up. If I wanted to be able to connect in multiple players or to connect in with a computer, I would need to use an Ethernet switch or hub or possibly a router. We recommend against routers as some do have network management which can prevent the communication between players and your computer. Now with the two players connected into an Ethernet switch and my computer on the same network, I can open record box and click the link button in the lower left corner to see my two players. If I want to control them off of the players themselves, simply tap the record box button on the screen. Here you can see the name of my computer, Pulse PC. I have the ability to scroll down and load up any song that's directly in the software and play it off of the, so off the hardware. This is again using only the record box link to load the tracks from my record box software into the players. There's no control of the software done here. It's just acting as a large hard drive or a screen with more sorting and searching options. If I want to use the players for record box DJ control, the first thing I need to do is to disconnect the Ethernet cables because I cannot have the Ethernet cables and a USB cable connected simultaneously with record box. Before I connect the USB cables though, it's important that you've downloaded and installed the drivers. If you go to our website, pinerdj.com support, you can find the XDJ700 product page and download the latest drivers, software updates, or firmware. Now in this case, there's no firmware updates available and the drivers are only necessary for Windows, so you can scroll down and install those. With the USB cables connected, you'll see that Windows recognizes, the uh, record box recognizes that the device has been detected and it asks if you want to change your configuration. In this stage, you can click no because we haven't yet switched over to the other side of record box, record box DJ. If you have activated the trial or purchased a license, you can find the export and switch that over to performance, or if you haven't yet started a trial, you will see this trial button up in the top left corner. Once in record box performance mode, click on the preferences, click on the audio tab, and change your audio device to the Pioneer CDJ XDJ ASIO. It's important you select the ASIO device, that way both of your devices will be available under one connection. Now you'll see they're numbered XDJ2 and XDJ1. Mine are happen to be connected this way because of the way that the players are set up and how they were detected by the operating system. It has no connection to the player number that's on your screen, it's simply how they were connected by USB to the system. If you start playing audio through them and find out that they're backwards and you need to switch the channels, it's a matter of just coming in here and switching the output deck from 2 to 1. Once you've closed that, tap the link on your screen, push the rotary to connect, and select turn it to select a deck. My right deck is going to be deck 2, left deck will be deck 1. Now I can see the waveform overview on the screen, and I've got the ability to browse through my songs, select a new one, and play. All of my performance is done directly off the player. Navigation of tracks, looping, hot cues. Everything is available on the touch screen, as well as on the hardware controls. So it's very simple to use, easy to set up, three great options. If you have any questions, come and find us in the forums, forums.pioneerdj.com. My name is Pulse.